So I was doing some mechanical engineering uh, design. I was going to do some 3D printing and I needed to know the clearances and sizes of screws that I was going to use in my, uh, in my design. I use Fusion 360. Uh, there's probably a way to pull in uh, con uh, con uh, fasteners and stuff in 360, but I just <laughs> haven't figured out. I just haven't taken the time to learn that yet. Anyway, I'm doing it the old way. Um, so, uh, people will probably understand there's this big fat book, Machiner's Handbook, and you can, uh, you can go into certain places. You can find, you can find dimensions of screws, and there's tables of how big things are supposed to be. Screws and bolts and stuff are actually standardized, and the heads have to be a certain size and a certain thickness. It's all standardized, so that when you build something, it fits, right? And no matter whose bolt you buy, they're all the same size, which is, which is nice. Okay, so you can, you can go through this big fat book and try to find some numbers and stuff. All right, there's a little book that some people use, the engineer's uh, black book. And, and this doesn't have everything, but it has a few things. Like it has uh, like bolt grades, grade two, grade five, what the, little, what the little stars mean on the heads and stuff. But there really isn't good data in here for the size of, of things. Um, so, I wanted to show something today that uh, you may not be aware of. It's a bit old school, but I find it very, very useful, and they still sell them today. Um, and that is this. Uh, I can zoom down a little bit here. Uh, this one's made by Alvin, and it is a slide roll type, type of thing. So there's a, whole, there's a whole bunch of numbers inside the thing, and there's little windows that, that show things, right? So, like, here's a whole bunch of... Uh, different size screws and stuff. And you set the size in this window. So here's a, oh, let's put it on a quarter. Okay, so here's a, uh, a quarter inch uh, screw size. Uh, the unified national find is 28 threads per inch. Unified national course is 20 threads per inch. And it tells you a few things, like it gives you the, like, the tap drill and the decimal number and stuff of things. But this is where it's really valuable down here. It'll tell you, um, like, what is the what is the point on a on a cup uh, a set screw or or a dog, or going to use a pan head or going to use a, a socket head. What are the size of these things? Uh, counterbore diameter, um, all kinds of cool stuff on here. So I find this very very useful. Um, there's some data here on spring springs how, with the size of the hole you should use for the spring to 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 fit. Um, there's some shoulder bolt data, rivets, don't use rivets much. All right, here's the back side. Um, it's got some fractional information here, fractions to decimal. It's got some miniature screws, which are, which are kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, 40 UNM, 254 threads per inch. Those are used in watches. And it gives you sizes and stuff, a tiny little screws. That's kind of cool. Here's drill sizes, letters, and numbers and stuff. This is super cool. I've never seen this anywhere. Um, it's probably in the machinery's handbook, but this is this is a bit cool. Let me see if I can slide this thing over here. Um, let's set it to, um, let's see, wrench size. Let's set it to half inch. So we'll set it to a half inch wrench. And then it says, okay, a, a normal wrench needs to have this much clearance for you to get your wrench in there. A, a, and it gives you like to, to a shoulder, or it gives you between bolts. Like what is the distance between bolts? You need to be 0.74 from bolt to bolt in order for your, your spanner to, to work. Um, or sockets or open end wrenches. That's, th that's really interesting. So, um, like I said, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Pipe threads. Uh, bend radiuses for different types of material, aluminum, stainless, uh, brass. Um, there's a cool thing over here that's a sheet metal size. So, so gauges are completely non-standard. You would think a gauge is a gauge, right? <laughs> but no, it's not. So brass has a, a, a 12-gauge brass is different than a 12-gauge aluminum, different than a 12-gauge steel. <laughs> and then Flat things are different than round things, right? So um, wire is different than sheet. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's, a nice, that's a nice thing to have. 
Um, it'd be nice if maybe somebody could point me to like an electrical version of this, like uh, how many amps per gauge, what are the size diameters of wires, like stranded wire and solid wire, and like what's the uh, resistance of copper. I don't know, maybe there's one of these in, in, uh, in um, uh, uh, electrical engineering land that I need to buy. <laughs> anyway, so this is a... Um, an Alvin screw data selector number 7355. So 7355. I'm sure you can search on that number and find these things. Um, but uh, yeah, I find it really useful.